Hi, my name is Jessica from Gymnastics HQ and I'm here today with my sister Lisa, a former level nine gymnast. We're here today to talk to you about some grips. Lisa, when did you first get grips? I believe I was level four. I had just joined um, our my club gym's team. So that was kind of part of joining the team. You started out and got some grips. Okay, and what kind of grip did you get? I started with a palm grip, so the kind that goes all the way down your fingers and lays flat. It's a good beginner style grip. Okay, so this is like a basic palm grip. I'll show it to you right here. And this just will lay flat against your hand. Mm -hmm. Lay flat. When did you um, change to a different style grip? Uh, not too long after. I think it was pretty much the next year when I was level five. I was doing more advanced skills like clear hips and uprises and things where you have to do a lot more. Um, kind of swinging with your like, underneath the bar. Okay. And so then I moved on to a grip with a dowel. So that's, you know, the ones that have this right below the fingers. Um, so it just doesn't lay quite as flat. Um, and did you get a Velcro or a buckle dowel grip? I got the Velcro one. I believe since I was level five and younger, it was just easier to put on for me. We have four of the most popular grips with us today, and I just thought I would show them to you and we can um, discuss some of their pros and cons. Um, the first grip that we have is the Nastia Lucan Beginner Grip. Um, and this one we showed to you before, but it's just a basic beginner grip, perfect for a, a gymnast starting out. Then we have the Bailey Grip, dowel buckle grip. The Bailey Grips are known for being um, thicker. Um, so what kind of gymnast do you think this thicker grip would be good for? Since they are thicker, you know, if you go through grips really fast, this um, could be better since it is thicker. Um, it will probably take a little bit longer to break in than a thinner one, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, um, and it could last longer. Okay. Double buckle grip. The basic. Um, these rice board grips are a little more flexible than the Bailey grips. Um, so what kind of gymnast do you think this would be good for? Um, probably one that really wants to feel the bar. Um, these would also break in faster. Um, they might not last as long, but again, every gymnast is different. It really, there's so many factors, how you take care of them, how you use them. Um, you know, there's just a lot that goes into it. So there's not, there's definitely not one grip that's best for everybody. Every gymnast is different. So if you want to feel the bar, um, then these would probably be better. And then we have um, a rice sport uh, hook and loop grip. This rice sport grip is the same as the previous grip except for the strap. The hook and loop is easier than the buckles for young gymnasts to put on. So when did you order any grips? I typically waited too long until a lot of times they would rip. That is way too long. I do <laughs> not recommend waiting until they rip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I would say you probably should start to get um, look into getting new ones when they start to get slicker. It also makes it easier when you're breaking them in because if you don't wait too long, you can still use your old ones while you're breaking in the new ones. So then you can maybe start your warm up with the new ones, you know, do some kips, cast handstands, um, you know, and work your way up. And so then, depending on how long your bar workout is, you can transition partway through into your old ones and do your normal skirt at your normal skills. But the skills you are working, working towards, towards um, um, with your old grips. With your old grips and yes, yeah, so it's a slower transition. If you wait too long like I did and they rip, you just have to use those new grips the entire time. And so that might, it's just, they're a little tougher on your hands and your wrists. Um, well, hopefully that helped you figure out more about what kind of grip um, you want. I'll definitely be linking these below. Um, and hopefully that was good information. Thank you so much, Lisa, for um, coming on the show. You're welcome. I was happy to be here.